Hey folks, uh, this is uh, Mr. Math Blog, and this is Triangle Inequalities Module 15.3. Don't forget, all your lessons can be found at this groovy website, MrMathBlog.com. And heck, that sure is ugly. If you have a good idea how to make that a prettier website, that would be awesome sauce. Um, I'm all ears. Just speak uh, English to me about that. Um, I mean, don't be all techno on me. I don't know how you go when you start speaking techno. Uh, technology stuff. I'm I'm pretty slow on that. Anyways, you guys, uh, this is going to go right down here. And if you noticed, I clicked uh, Integrated Math 2, the link Integrated Math 2. All right, here we go. So our question for our awesome teachers is, uh, how can we use inequalities? Inequalities is like less than or less than or equal to or greater than or greater than or equal to to describe the relationship among the side lengths and the angles in a triangle. Okay, so recall from our last lesson, you guys, an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides, okay? And an and a equilateral triangle, which is we found out in the last lesson, is the same as an equiangular triangle, has three equal sides. And a triangle that doesn't have any equal sides is called a scalene triangle. Oh, boy. Okay. So this is called the Triangle Inequality Theorem, okay? So the Triangle Inequality Theorem says that if you add any two side lengths together, it has to be greater than the third side. It must be greater than the third side. I'll show you a demonstration in just a minute, okay? So if we have this triangle right here, there's there's three possibilities. you got to do um, uh, this side plus this side has to be greater than this side has to be greater than it can't be greater than or equal to, it has to be greater than. Or we can do uh, this side plus this side has to be greater than this side. And uh, finally, uh, this side here plus this side here has to be greater than this side. There's three possibilities. And all of these have to be true to make a triangle. So for example, determine whether a triangle can be formed with the given side lengths. Okay, so let's pretend like these are in centimeters or inches or some kind of length, okay, units, okay? So here we have four, eight, and 10. So we gotta consider all three possibilities, okay? Four plus eight is greater than 10, eight plus 10 is greater than four, and finally four plus 10 is greater than eight. So yes, we can make a triangle with those side lengths right there. How about this one right here? Okay, so seven plus nine, well that's 16. That's not greater than 18, so we're done with that. No, we can't make a triangle. How about this one? Five, five, and 10. Well, five plus five equals 10. That's not greater than 10. So we can't make a triangle right there, okay? So here's a picture with some lengths right here. Which lengths can I make a triangle with? Let's, let's say we're gonna play with this length right here and put it right there. And let's say we put this dude over here. Uh, there's no way I can make a triangle because if I, even if I rotated that down, you know, and even as much as I can rotate it down right there and then rotate this guy over, there's no way I'm going to be able to make a triangle because they won't reach. Okay, and so that's why it has to be greater than because if they were equal to each other, equal to this length, they'd meet right in the middle and it wouldn't make a triangle. So, you know, if I took this guy right here, let me rotate this guy back up. I don't know where it's going to go. And then put this dude right here and uh, rotate it down. I think I'm going to be able to make a triangle with these lengths right here. I wish I had some kind of program that would do that. Maybe I can't. Um, Anyway, so they have to be greater than that third side right there. So it looks like I can't even with these two sides right there. Even if I rotate it down just a little bit more, let's just see. Okay, if it'll even fit to make a triangle, I don't even think those lengths will make a triangle right there. So anyways, this side plus this side has to be bigger than the third side right there. Okay, all right, so find the range of possible values for the length of the third side using the triangle inequality theorem okay so I see 12 10 and X as lengths so we got to consider all three possibilities okay X plus 10 is greater than 12 
x plus 12 is greater than 10. Well, this one's already greater than 10, so I can I can disregard this one. 12 is already greater than 10, so we can get rid of that right there. And then 10 plus 12 has to be greater than that side right there, okay? So let's go ahead and solve these. Subtract 10 on both sides. Here we add these together. We get 22. So here's my boundaries. It goes from it's bigger than 2 and x is less than 22, okay? So we're going to say any number between 2 and 22. So we'll just say 2 is less than x is less than 22. And the quick trick is we just subtract the numbers to get the lower boundary and add the numbers to get the upper boundary. So 12 minus 10 is 2. 12 plus 10 is 22. 2, 22, that's the boundary right there. All right, use that with this one right here. Okay, so subtract these guys. So if we subtract them, we get 0. When we add them, we get 30. So any number that's between 0 and 30, it can't be 0, it can't be 30, but it could be like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or any number that's greater than 0 and less than 30 could be 29.9. It just can't be 30 or anything bigger than 30, okay? All right, so the side angle relationships in triangles. Um, so this just says if two sides of a triangle are not equal, then the larger angle is opposite the larger side, okay? And also, the smaller angle is opposite the smaller side, and the medium angle is opposite the medium side, okay? Now, your book doesn't give you this little also part right there, but it sure is handy to know. So for something like this, it'll say, list the angles in order from least to greatest, okay? So we look at the bigger side, the, or from least to greatest. So look at the smaller side. Here's the smaller side. So the smaller angle is straight across. It's opposite. So angle A would be uh, the smaller angle. This is the medium side. So the opposite angle is angle C. So angle C is the medium angle. And then here's the biggest side. So the biggest angle is going to be angle B. Okay, so, so the measure of angle A is less than the measure of angle C, which is less than the measure of angle B. Okay, you'll have some of those on your assignment here. So the converse of that is the angle side relationship. And all I want you to know is if two angles are not congruent, then the larger angle is opposite the larger side. Okay, or I'm sorry, the larger side is opposite the larger angle. So this is just kind of doing the reverse. So for each triangle, order the side lengths from least to greatest, okay? So here's a triangle. We got all these three, and these should add up to 180, by the way, because triangles add up to 180, okay? So this is the smallest uh, angle, so go straight across. That's the smallest side, side AB, okay? Side AB is the smallest, okay? So then the medium angle is that 65 degrees, so go straight across, and that's the medium side, side AC. That 70 is the biggest angle, so go straight across, and then so the biggest side is side BC, okay? Easy, huh? All right, so the sides in order from least to greatest are AB is less than AC is less than BC, okay? All right, so something like that. Okay, so let's do that uh, for this one. For each uh, triangle, order the sides from least to greatest. I think this is number two. Yeah, this is number two. Let me change that real quick, okay? So I have my lessons all squared away. Okay, so there's number two right there, okay? And then so so we see a, a 90 degree angle right there. Here's a 30, here's a 60. So here's the smallest angle. So straight across is AC. That's the smallest side, okay? Here's the medium angle. So straight across, BC is the medium side. 90 is bigger than all of them, so go straight across, and AB is the biggest side right there, okay? So, so uh, the smallest angle is B, so the smallest side is opposite AC. This, the medium angle is, um, is A, this is the medium angle, so straight across is side BC. And finally, the largest angle is uh, angle C, so straight across is AB. That's the largest uh, side right there, okay? All right, so the sides listed in order from least to greatest are, are AC is the smallest, BC is the mediumest, and then AB is the biggest, okay? All right, if you guys are in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.